How's it going everyone? CJ from On The Grow here and today I'm going to be discussing a basically crop intensive test with sunflowers. So we've been growing hydroponically with sunflowers for the past two weeks and we've been getting some great results comparing it against purified water and adding nutrients and that's beginning to uh, look really really great. So what I thought I would do at this point was begin introducing uh, some soils to compare our growth hydroponically against. Um, so what I've done is I've soaked all these seeds for 12 hours and I've divided it up to 150 grams of uh, seed per tray. Uh, these two over here are on a bio straight medium, which is a biopolymer blend uh, that we will be bottom watering with nutrients. And these two are two different types of soils. So the soil in the green tray is going to match our bag here actually. It's black gold seedling mix. Uh, which is an organic seedling mix that we found at a, just any big box retailer really. Uh, so we're gonna see how this guy does. I'm sure it'll do great because uh, it does have additives to help with new, uh, rooting and stuff like that. So should do quite well. Uh, the pink tray is going to be our pro mix soil that we found again at the same kind of big box uh, store. So this is a non-organic soil that uh, just has a bunch of additives in it. Uh, looks, I mean, pretty clean for the most part. Uh, the only thing I don't like in the ingredients is it just says controlled release fertilizer. Don't know what that is. Uh, everything else is stuff that I understand, like peat hummus, perlite, and stuff like that. So it uh, seems mostly organic with just one questionable factor there. Now the orange tray will be getting uh, bottom watered with Fox Farms Grow Organic Nutrients, and the purple will be getting uh, the uh, liquid kelp as a nutrient source. So that's kind of a quick overview of what we're gonna be doing nutrient wise and soil wise. Uh, so we will probably do a day by day check in on this and see how everything's looking and I will see you soon. day three of the soil versus hydroponic test for these sunflowers and uh, I just kind of want to quickly unstack these since we are watering them and I want to show you what the germination looks like um, everything is looking actually very 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 even uh, there's a few on the hydroponic side that kind of flipped upside down those radicals try to grow upwards so we just kind of pull those out as we see them um, other than that everything is looking super healthy uh, so what I'm going to be doing today is just kind of reversing the stacking order on these. Uh, this was my uh, bottom, so now this one's going to become my top. And this one was my top, so this one's going to become my bottom. So I'm just kind of reversing that. That way these guys get uh, uh, even consistent pressure for germination. So I'm going to go ahead and get some weights thrown back on these, and I will see you tomorrow. Uh, so they've had weight for four days now. I've reversed the, uh, the order on these trays, so we try to get as even as possible for the pressure. Um, but today we'll be removing these weights, uh, begin adding nutrients to the hydroponic ones, and we'll also be putting blackout domes on these for one additional day. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these weights pulled off real quick. Actually, we'll just do that while we're on camera. I'll go ahead and pull these. Okay, we'll just head over to this table here with both of these. Oh, this is risky. This is risky. You don't want to do that. <laughs> All right, so everything is looking like I want it to. So you'll notice that we do four days of weighted stacking because you can see how many of these guys are able to shed their I'm just pulling this guy out because it sent the radical upwards. Um, how many of these shells these guys were able to knock off? Um, so that's why we keep it stacked for just a tiny bit longer, like one, one additional day. Um, surprisingly, this one didn't get rid of nearly as many as like say this one does. 
So that's very, very interesting. I wonder why that is. I don't know why we got poor germination in this one. Interesting. So um, what I'm doing is going ahead and watering these guys, uh, and I'll begin adding the nutrients to these. I'm going to kind of go through and pull out any uh, like radicals that got, or seeds that got flipped upside down, and they're pushing the radicals up in the air like this guy right here it tries to grow with its uh, root facing upwards. There's not a whole lot of those. I see like maybe one or two more. So I'm gonna get those pulled out, get these guys watered with their specified nutrients, just add purified water to these guys. And then we'll be putting blackout domes onto this and then we'll just kind of do a day by day from there. So I'll see you soon. Today, I am going to be taking the covers off of these as the sunflowers are attempting to do themselves. So let's go ahead and start over here with these hydroponic ones and we will see how these are looking. They are quite tall. So everything is looking really good. We've gotten rid of a lot of the seed holes, which is really, really quite nice. Oh, that's really, actually looking really quite happy right there on these two. Okay, so the soil are probably looking the best in my opinion. In my humble opinion. I don't know, it's pretty close though. These guys I think are just a little bit more um, uh, scattered, diffused. Uh, I guess we'll know at the very end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get some water added to the uh, soil ones and then I'm going to put in the specified nutrients into these guys and we'll just do a kind of a day by day play until we harvest. Seven for this large experiment for the sunflowers. So everything was super, super happy. And then we made it kind of sad by going through and picking up any shells like, oh, I'm having trouble finding one now. Uh, we pulled out anything that kind of looked like that because we just don't want to um, have to clean that out after harvest. Um, so just kind of taking a look at growth. Uh, the soils, I mean, everything did great in my opinion. Um, everything looks pretty even. I will say that though that this uh, pro mix one right here did have a bit of rounding to it so like the the uh, sunflowers on the sides are a bit shorter than the ones in the middle whereas everything else grew very very consistently in height um, especially the hydroponics i noticed that these guys all had a very uniform growth uh, while the soils have a little bit of that rounding that happened Okay, so we have finished harvesting everything for this uh, soil versus hydroponics test. And just to quickly recap all of the weights. So for the seedling mix, that was the black and gold organic seedling mix, we had a total weight of 481 grams. For the pro mix, we had a total of 680 grams, so definitely won by weight. Um, for the kelp, which is hydroponically nutrients added, weird way of saying that, uh, it was 451 grams. So this one had the lowest weight of all, the kelp did. And then the Farmer's Pride uh, hydroponic nutrient one is 556 grams. So this came in second place with weight. This was first place, uh, seedling mix third, and then kelp fourth. So now let's just quickly talk about all of these. So. With the dirt ones, uh, what I dislike is whenever you harvest, you have to be really careful not to get dirt on the stems. Otherwise, you're gonna have to put these through a wash. And also what I noticed on the dirt ones is that they had a lot of uh, seed holes and the growth was kind of inconsistent, especially with the, uh, the pro mix. There was a lot of short mixed in with the tall because the whole, um, all the growth did like a U shape for some reason. I'm not really sure uh, what encouraged that U shape versus like the farmer's pride, it was the e easiest to harvest because there was barely any seed holes. Um, I picked out like, I don't know, maybe 10 seed holes. 
um, while I was harvesting uh, versus like this pro mix, uh, I actually kind of gave up. There's probably at least 50 to 70 grams of product that I wouldn't use in here. Um, so that's something to be considered that this is actually closer to probably around 600 grams total um, because like right here on the top, you could just, I could just show you, there is a lot that I need to go through and clean off and pick out uh, versus like on the farmer's pride, there's just nothing. So that's just something to be aware of. Okay, so taste-wise, I would say Farmer's Pride is in first and the uh, seedling mix, the organic seedling mix from Black and Gold is in second place. Probably the Pro Mix in third, or I'd say these two are kind of tied. I did like the um, citrus, tr citrus, citrusiness that the uh, kelp somehow provided. Um, okay, so total recap. Best flavor and second best growth, Farmer's Pride. Um, best growth in general was Pro Mix. So what I think I'll be doing is try to find some more Pro Mix. Uh, the only one that I could find uh, quickly and easily for this test was this guy right here, which is the uh, Pro Mix uh, Premium Potting Mix with Mycoactive. Um, which seems very similar to what the people are using, uh, commercial growers. But I just don't see anything on it that says anything about um, organic or anything like that. So that's my only concern with that. I believe there are some organic. I just stepped on my own apron and yanked my microphone out. Technical difficulties. Testing, testing. Okay, so um, so I definitely want to be trying, uh, I'll try to find some more pro mix soils and see if we can find uh, some that are especially organic because that's all I want to grow with. I don't want to grow with anything that isn't uh, organic. Um, so I'll see what I can find for that to con continue some tests. Um, I'll keep playing with kelp because it was interesting that it added that little bit of citrus flavor. Uh, but as for growing hydroponically in the way I like to do it, I'm going to continue probably focusing for my main crop, Farmer's Pride, just because I get the best results with those micronutrients added and the grow formula. Um, so that's about it for this test. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below for comments. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give us a thumbs down. I want honest opinions here. If you would like to, we do lots of tests. So please subscribe if you want to see more of that. And if you're interested as well, our Instagram is at on the grow farms. You can follow us there. We do lots of little goofy things and also just daily updates with what's going on inside of our space. So I hope to see you soon.